What's going on guys? This is Keejah with 924 Photography and I am back with another review today. We're going to be reviewing the Pocket Light F7 LED light. Thank you so much for sending me this light out. I just want to get straight into unboxing it. So what comes in the box? So obviously you get the LED light, which is built with some really good quality. And what's cool about this light, it is magnetic. So that is a plus for me. Next, you have an on off. You have a dial that can go up and down. And then you have your intensity uh, dial right here at the back. You also have an LED screen that shows you charging, the Kelvin, the RGB color space, all that right here on the back of this screen. So what else is in the box? So they give you a nice little pouch that you can carry your pocket light uh, in. So we're gonna unzip this real quick. You get a type A USB-C charging cable. You gotta have your own plug though. And then you have two quarter 20s adapters that you can put it on, do whatever you need to do with that. Next, you get a diffuser panel, which it seems that it's made with some good material. And you get a honeycomb grid right here to focus that light. So since we are all into the box, let's go into the light. With this pocket light, F7 LED light, I'm gonna turn it on. So how you turn it on, you hold this power button on for three seconds and it will turn on. First thing you want to do is you can tap the set button once, it'll go into scene mode. You can tap it again. You can go into your regular Kelvin mode. Though you can adjust the temperature from 25, 2500 K to 9000 K. And you hit it again and you have your RGB space where you can uh, rotate your intensity, which you can see here at the bottom. You can make it brighter from zero to 100 intensity. You have your hue and saturation. To change the hue and saturation on this light, you will actually press the button right here in the dial right above the intensity light, press it in once, and you can highlight the hue. From that point, you can toggle it down or toggle it up to change the color space. If you press it in one more time, you can go to the saturation tab and you can go from zero to a hundred. So you tap it again and you are out. You have up to 20 scene modes that you can turn them on and off. One thing I don't like about scene mode is you can't adjust the intensity on scene mode. So it is what it is. Once you turn scene mode on, you can go through them. They have a lot of different features in there. You can read them in the box. Charging. You have a little USB charging port right here. You just plug it in and it will charge. We're talking about charging. You can plug this up to an external battery pack and, but the downfall to plugging it up to an external battery pack is that you can only change the power level or the intensity level up to 70%. It would not go any higher and that's a, sa a safety feature that's inside this LED light so you don't burn it up. That's pretty cool because you can charge on the go. On the bottom of this LED light, you have a quarter 20 plate so you can mount it to a light stand, uh, whatever you need to mount it to. I am going to turn this light on. Let's see how much it feels myself in. And we're gonna turn the intensity up. How does that light? Did it feel me in? It's pretty good when you're outside and you're on the go and you don't want to carry around a big old light stand with a soft box and all that. What's another feature that you can use this light for? This light, you can use it for photography. And in my next video, I'm going to do a full shoot at night going around the Dallas city area using two of these lights to create some dope portraits. I may add in my aperture light on some instances and have a three light setup, coloring the wall, doing hair lights, doing some cool things. So this light is not only for videographers, it is photographers as well. And this light is super soft. To the company that sent me this light out, I'll have the link in the description below so you can find this on Amazon. This product retails for $149 if you get the grid or the diffuser. Now they have one for $139, but it doesn't come with the honeycomb grid or the diffuser. 
If you would like to see more reviews, please comment below. And also don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you like this video. If you're new to the channel, I want you to hit that subscribe button. You can smash it, hit it, slap it, whatever you need to do. And also hit that bing bell so you can get more notifications when I post or upload.